Hey everybody, it's Andre from the Eaglesoft Field Guide, and I'm here with my buddy Sherry Jolly from Dental Support Essentials. Sherry, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. I haven't seen you in a little while. <laughs> I, I know. know. It's been a while. I know. So, hey, we're going to talk about something that is near and dear to both of us. Um, and I know you deal with this on a regular basis. I, I only have to deal with it when I answer questions about it. And that's bulk payments and uh, how important they are. Um, and a lot of people struggle with them. A lot of it has to do with Eaglesoft setup, uh, but also just people didn't know that it existed. So we're gonna talk about it and how, how you utilize it on a daily basis with, with your clients, um, how you used it, used it in your office. And, um, and you know we'll talk about it a little bit. What do you think? I think that's great. I, I think it's such an underutilized feature and it's, it's one of those things that, um, that once you have it, you don't wanna go back. It's, it's kind of like having the second screen on your computer. Mm -hmm. Once you've got it, it's, it's hard to go back to the other way. Yeah. So um, you'll just be that much more savvy um, and more efficient in your office once you learn how to do it. I agree. And I'm, I'm sitting here with two big 32 inch monitors in front of me. So <laughs> believe me, I can appreciate that. I When I go to my, my laptop, I'm like, where's all the information, you know? Exactly. So let's tell everybody first where it is. So I'm on my front desk screen. I'm gonna go to activities and I'm gonna to go to bulk insurance payment. And I bet you people are like, I didn't realize that was there. So it's an amazing feature when used properly and when Eaglesoft is set up properly so that we can better utilize it. So why don't you tell people about some of the advantages that you see in using it? Um, it's efficiency and, and time. And as also balancing to the penny, it's so much easier to, for whoever's doing the bookkeeping to reconcile payments and checks and deposits when you use the bulk check feature. Yeah. And, you know, and it's funny because so many times offices at the end of the day realize that something's wrong with the deposit report. And a lot of times it's because there's a check missing or they were doing a bulk payment but weren't using the bulk feature and now they're off by... $52 and they can't find it. And it's so, you know, well, from an accounting standpoint, it's so easy to just look at the EOBs and find that $52 payment that they're missing. But it, like you said, when you're using um, a bulk payment and you're, you can only uh, finish by reconciling. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm sure you probably can appreciate this. I mean, at five o'clock, I want to go home. Most people have a babysitter waiting on them and um, you, you know, you don't want an unhappy babysitter. Yeah. You, you don't want an unhappy babysitter and you don't want to, some of them charge you if you're late. I had a babysitter charge me a dollar a minute. So what oh. that meant for me is that if it took me 15 minutes to find out how we were off by $50, it cost me $15 personally. Oof. So I, um, I, I learned to use this feature and I learned um, to balance more often than at the end of the day yeah. so that I could be, kick, pick my kid up on time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, so let's, let's look at just how the, how Eaglesoft looks at uh, bulk payments. So you can see in this bulk payment screen, it, it allows me to pick the insurance company I'm making the payment on. So we get an insurance check and we get that big long thing from say Delta Dental. And we want to grab our Delta Dental of Pennsylvania. And these are all of the outstanding claims to Delta Dental of Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. The crazy thing is in a lot of offices at UCIC, they might have 20 different Delta Dentals of Pennsylvania. That's correct. Yeah. Yes. And then they're going to say, oh, that feature doesn't work in our office, Andre, because of that. And that's true. I mean, I always have in my example, you know, there, you know I have Delta Dental of Pennsylvania. And I can, uh, because I live in Pennsylvania, I've seen Pennsylvania spelled so many different ways <laughs> that mm -hmm. you can see all of my Delta Dental of Pennsylvania's, even though they're the same PO box, everything is the same. It's not picking up. Look at that one. There's nothing on that one. So because they're not picking up the right Delta Dental, it's not going to work out properly. So we've got to make sure we're picking the right Delta Dental and we have to make sure that all of the, uh, claims that are outstanding, but okay. I'm going to show you a trick. And I'm, I know you know this because we've talked about this before. If I take my Delta Dentals of Pennsylvania, even if I don't have the time to clean them up and get them all nice and neat, if I just edit these and go to payment group and call the payment group, 
Delta Dental of Pennsylvania. And just so everybody knows, uh, Delta Dental of Delaware, New Jersey, uh, no, not New Jersey, Del uh, New Jersey, I'm sorry, New York, Delaware, Pennsylvania. And does Washington, I think Washington comes out of Pennsylvania too. Washington, Alpharetta, DC. Georgia, the, the one with the Alpharetta, Georgia um, uh, address is also going to show up on these. It's all processed by the yep. same. So that's why I do in, this. I call it Delta California. Delta California. California. Yep. So if you have a payment group, you could actually pay instead of by the insurance company, by the insurance group. And here's my Delta Dental PA group, and I can have all of my claims for Delta Dental under that. And it makes it so much easier because, again, I hear it so many times in the field guide, and I'm sure you hear it. You know, I can't use bulk payment because dot, dot, dot. And, and they look at that big, long list of duplicate insurance companies and they feel overwhelmed and they don't have time to clean it up. They, so they, they, they tell me that. So one of the things that I do to start this project is I will pull out my EOB and I will look up these patients and I will go to the employer of each one of these people and put that group in the employer. That's awesome. And then, and then that way we can get it to to work. Yeah. Um, and we get it faster. Um, cause usually you have five or six common employers. Yeah. And once you get it in that employer, it, it works out. Now, if you got multiple employers, we need to talk more about system cleanup, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, yeah. um, you don't need to put the same employer in five times. You only need to put it in one time. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's a, that's a different, that's a different instruction. Yeah. And you know, it's, I, I, I try to tell people all the time, you know, you got, you got to eat this uh, elephant one bite at a time. I mean, it is an elephant and clean up can be as simple as what we're saying. If you, if you're cleaning these up as you're posting payments, you will eventually get to the point where you're going to notice they're all cleaned up and you're mm -hmm. good. So let's pick, I'm going to pick MetLife because I know I've got a bunch of people here and this is what a typical bulk payment screen would look like. So uh, it automatically defaults to my insurance check. H have you ever thought in terms of changing um, to a different payment type like bulk insurance? Usually, usually our bulks come, well, I encourage EFTs. Okay. So I'm usually changing it to an EFT. Gotcha. Um, and then it shows up at, and that's really important for the bookkeeper to track EFT in one bulk payment because the EFT you'll see, you know, $1,500 in the bank account. And if you have it in there as, you know, 12 individual insurance checks, it, it takes them a long time to figure out which payment is which. To reconcile. Yeah. That's a great idea. I didn't think about that on the bookkeeping side of things. That's perfect. Yeah. So yeah. And you know, you would have a payment type for your EFTs or insurance credit cards or whatever, you know, whatever you're processing under it, but that's a great idea. So you can better track it. And typically you're going to have a check number if we, if we're going to do a check uh, or a reference number. Yes. I, I like there. to put that in there. And the other thing I like to do is if you are posting on a different day than it hit the account, mm -hmm. I will put the day that it hit the account behind the check number. Awesome. That's a great idea. I haven't seen it. You know, I'm, I'm so old. I haven't been in a dental office to see an EFT. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> well, the other thing is I, we're a remote billing company. Right. So sometimes they will scan things into us and we get them the next day. Gotcha. And so we also try to put in there what date of the scan and the date. Sometimes we'll use the date of the scan or something like that so that they clearly know when we're doing what that kind of thing. You know, how we've talked before about notes, notes, notes. Yeah. Connecting A to B is, is important. And it, having a note there means you don't have to wait until, you know, 8 a.m. the next day to ask somebody a, the question. I, mm -hmm. I like that. All right. And then let's say that they're going to pay us uh, $1,900. I'm just going to make up a number. All right. And you can see I have $1,900, the total amount of the check that's undistributed. And then what I'm going to do is go through and actually pay um, each of these payments. So the estimated insurance on this was zero and they actually paid zero because I'm going to finalize that one. All right. And then I go through the process of putting in the payments for all these. Uh, let's do, this is 174. My estimations are always dead on. So let's, let's pretend that's true. Yes. But <laughs> also, um, go ahead. 
I was going to say, I like to, I like to get a little deeper. Mm -hmm. I like to distribute by line item. I love it. So if you hit the distribute button, there yeah. You go. So then you can see, cause occasionally they'll pay the bite wings and the trophy, but not the exam or something like that. So if you're getting a claim that was $170 and, and, but you're not getting $170, you can put in there exactly how that is. So and let's, let's make, let's pretend we're doing that here. So they paid 170 and they paid 40 on that one. They paid 55 on this one. And then this one, instead of paying 79, they paid 75. Five. And of course, I can go back here and change this to 74. And this one was 54. And again, you Correct. can see my unassigned down there. So it's not going to let me mess up. 56. There we go. And particularly when you're dealing with hygiene claims and multiple doctors, it, if you're not posting by line item, you are messing with the doctor's paycheck. I agree. I agree. And so, um, you know, as you're posting, you need to, and that was, that's usually the other argument is they don't know how to post by line item in the bulk check. Um, and so that's where I'm like, you just, um, just press the distribute button and you can see all that. And it, it works out very well. That's awesome. We also have the ability to go into the coverage books. If that's something uh, that needs to be done, we can clean up some coverage books. We can view the claim right from here and see what, you know, how that claim went out. Um, we can also go right to the account if we need to do something and we can add notes just as if you were inside the account screen doing this. So, and I'm not gonna go through the whole process of distributing $1,900, but you can quickly see how it, it's gonna stop you. If you if I haven't distributed that whole $1,900, it's not gonna let me get out of here. That's correct. It, it won't let you save the payment unless it's, and, and so occasionally you might type the wrong number in um, but what, and, and so which you have to go back up, you have to go back up there and then fix the correct amount, but sure. the amount in that box has to match the um, amount distributed or you can't save the check. So, you know, every time when your bulk checks balance. Mm -hmm. So from my perspective as the um, accounts receivable person who does the cleanup, um, one of the things that I hate to tell doctors is all this outstanding money you've already received yeah. and you're not, so the doctor has this expectation that they have, you know, $15,000 coming to them. And I say, mm, actually you already got that $15,000. It's just that um, there were 20 payments on that EOB and, you know, 18 of them got posted. Yeah. And that's a pretty common thing when I find um, unposted payments it's a bulk EOB that um, you got most of them. Yeah. Um, so once again, though, but what I love about this is then when you go to look at the deposit slip, it's one check for the amount that matches the check. So whether you're doing an EFT or a check, if you have five checks in your hand, there's five checks on that deposit slip that have that amount and it matches up. So once again, you're not doing all the math again to make sure that the checks in your hand are the, is the amount posted. I love um, it. It's a it's a quick thing. So it's one of those things where EagleSoft does the work for you if you use it correctly. It's exactly. going to save you for every every task we do here, I'm saving you a couple minutes. Well, that couple minutes adds up to getting out on time. That couple minutes adds up to being able to make that extra call, get that patient, that time you can spend with the patient. And uh, it also leads to not um, needing a vacation as often. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You said no, that I, I didn't mean, say that. <laughs> no, no. But what I mean is there are times when you just need a break and you just want to get away. Yeah. This reduces your frustration. We should yeah. say it like that. It reduces you your go. frustration. There you go. Yeah. And you know, this is one of those untapped tools, you know, I, a lot, I was trying to do uh, this thing every Friday where I was just going to post things into the Facebook group, which were things that I hear all the time where people say, I didn't know that existed. And this is one of those tools where almost everybody, or I should say a lot of people know it's there, but never really knew how to use it or didn't use it because dot, 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 you know, and this is one of those tools where Again, some of the just the small little things we talked about already, where if you just edit the, you know, your patients before you go in, it makes it that much smoother. Uh, this is one of those things where, like you said, if it, you know, need to get out quickly, this will do it. This uh, bulk insurance payment um, cures a lot of evils, a lot of evils. It 
It, it really does. It's um, so one of the things that I annoy my staff with is this little phrase called, I say, pre-work, not rework. Wow. And if you do the setup and you do the pre-work, um, when the patient's there in front of you, when, when it's showtime, you're faster. Yeah. And, um, and it really, it saves the frustration of the delayed payment, the, the delayed don't know, you know, you could spend a lot of time and money figuring out what happened later, or you could just set it up to go smoothly in the yeah. first place. So you do have to invest the time to do the setup, but it is much less time than cleanup. Yeah. And, you know, we had so many offices who had time to do a lot of this, especially during like the March, April COVID time, who mm -hmm. had a lot of time to do some cleanup. And I think people who did that hard work during that time period will now find that because a lot of people cleaned up their insurance list, and that kind of stuff. They're going to find that now that they can do bulk payments it really pays off all that work that you did when you, you know, you remoted into the office or you went in on your own and did some of this cleanup, you will now reap the benefits of it. Oh, absolutely. And your bookkeeper will like you better. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> you, you want to, you want to have a good relationship, just like you want to have a good relationship with the babysitter. You want to have a good relationship with the bookkeeper. That's it. I, I, and you know what, that, that makes it so my accountant never has to call me. I, that's the, yes. I, that's the worst call in the whole world is when my accountant calls me when it's not tax season or something, you know? So, but this is a great tool. I'm glad you brought this up because when I asked for topics and you, this was the first thing you thought of, because mm -hmm. this is a tool that not only helps you as a, you know, as a third party, uh, person that's helping in practices, but this could, this helps everybody. It, it really does. And like I said, it helped me when I had to, when I had to, like the, the end of the day is like the least amount of problem solving skill I have, yeah. you know, I, I I'm done. <laughs> and then I have to use my brain real hard. It's, it's not fun. <laughs> and, and you know, on, on that topic of the end of the day, cause that was one of the things that I really hated the end of the day for me was one of those things where I didn't, you know, I, if, if my numbers didn't match, I was just, well, forget it. I'll, in the morning, I'll take care of it. So one of the things, and I think we talked about this before, one of the things I always did was I reconciled twice a day. I do too. Yeah. There you go. Yep. I send my insurance claims out twice a day, you know, because mm -hmm. I didn't want that report to come back at the end of the day and say they're missing a social on somebody and I had to figure it out. I have one particular carrier that I'm seeing in several states that if I send more than 10 claims to them at a time, mm -hmm. like if I send 15, they get 13 of them. Really? Yeah. And I, I've noticed I, I've been in my mind, the wheels are turning. Why does this one carrier not always get my claims when it, it, it went exactly the same way as all the rest of them? Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about it. It's a Medicaid uh, third party. Okay. And they're in every state that I do business in. So that's 12. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking at the beginning of the day and the end of the day, when we're sending statements, they're getting Inundated. millions of claims per second. Yeah. So um, what I did and I've seen improvement is I have made anybody who sends to that carrier send 10 claims at a time. Yeah. And, um, and we send them throughout the day and we have had a, significant decrease in having to resubmit a claim that we know went electronically. Yeah. Um, but once again, this is one of those things where if you spread it out through the day, um, you break it up into small pieces, it's a doable task and it's not overwhelming or stressful. Yeah. I, yeah, I love that. That's, that's great advice. Well, and I'm glad you, I'm glad you picked this one because this is one of those, like I said, untapped things that, you know, once people start doing it and really getting into it, they're going to, they're going to reap the benefits of it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I think so. I, 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 I love this and I don't know anybody once I taught them how to use it, who didn't love it then, then as well. It's just convincing them to love it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, Hey, thank you so much for doing this. And uh, just so, so every, I mean, I know you very well, but how does everybody get to know you? Uh, what's the best way to get in touch with you and find out more about what you do? Um, you can go to dsepractice.com. Um, so that's um, D is in dental, S is in support, or E is is essential. So dsepractice.com um, is the best way. You can reach out to me by my email, which is my name, Sherry.jolly. And it's on the screen here, as you can see, Sherry has one R. 
Um, Sherry.jolly at dental support essentials.com. Super long domain name. Didn't think that one through. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so those are two great ways to get a hold of us. The, we're on Facebook. I'm on the field guide. Um, and we, yeah, we, we're happy to help um, offices out with billing eligibility. And now we have just launched a biller training course um, for mostly it's targeted right now to people who have zero um, or maybe worked in the back and didn't work at the front mm -hmm. just to teach them what insurances you can, what you can do with insurance, what you can't and what you need to be looking for and learning how to do. So it's, it's a, it's a six part course that's online. Awesome. Now. Awesome. Well, thanks again for doing this for me and I'll, I'll, you know, and I will see you on the field guide. All right. Thanks, Andre. Thanks so much.